For every goal I score, I will buy one icon moments for my team. Our first goal came after we had conceded one. Yes! Let's get a striker. This Larson looks unreal, so he's our first player. There he goes. What I haven't told you is that this challenge has three simple rules. If I consider a goal, I have to discard the last icon I bought. After I score a goal, I'm allowed to rage quit and then go and buy a new card. Whatever icon I discard, I can just buy another one for a similar price. This counterattack could mean our first discard. Good thing is Haliti stopped Cristiano. No! Oh! We will then secure our second upgrade right after that. Larson! Larson! We spent 700k on Larson. Let's get a more expensive card. I want every card we buy to get more expensive until we get to the most expensive card of the challenge. Seedorf looks perfect. But to follow the rules, it's a lot better if we just get Peter Check. Since he's only a little over 700k. So Peter Check is the next one. That's very good because now the odds of discarding another card are very low. I had the perfect counter attack and all I needed was a good throw ball, but I failed. And that, what was that pass? Then we missed an easy chance that I'm gonna regret. No! What was that finish? Because just after that, my defense was exposed. No! No! I'm just gonna quick sell him because I need the coins anyways. Fuck! I still want a keeper, so I go Casper Schmeichel. We still need to get that goal, so let's do it. And that goal was an absolute banger. Mind us a goal. What the fuck? I know I want Seedorf, but there is only one Ico moments left back, and that's Ashley Cole. So we need to get Ashley Cole. Since he's only a little bit more expensive than Czech. We nearly discarded our second card on this chance. Counter attacks were a big problem. No! Oh! Another huge chance missed by Larson. And what a finish by Larson! He had realized that he was a fraud. I gave away a pain and tried to guess where he was gonna go. No, I'm going right. No, no, no. This guy's gonna cheap it. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh my god! Oh my god! Just after the pen, Larson will show us a bit of his quality and score a banger. Please, Larson! Larson, I love you! He is the Ukrainian R9. He's from Sweden, right? We can finally afford Cedar. Jesus Christ. 800k, 880k for this absolute beast. And we finally have a decent midfielder. Team is looking insane, and we still have not spent 30 million coins. We still have the likes of R9, Pele, and Eusebio to buy. I am getting very nervous. Rightfully so, because in this chance, he nearly scored. No, no, no. Oh, that's not a foul. And finally, Larson started to show his quality. Yes, oh my god, yes, Larson, you cannot miss this of how dreadful he is. What? Luckily enough, we had Seedorf to save the day. Yes! What a player he is! There are only a few right backs, so I'm gonna have to get Carlos Alberto right now. He's our first of many over 1 million coin cards. 1.10 million? Oh, that's sick. Let's go. I can't wait to actually get striker. We dominated all game and got our quickest upgrade yet. Larson, please, fam. Jesus Christ. I need another good striker. I'm getting one. I don't care. He's nearly 1.2 million coins, and I'm telling you right now, this guy is insane. You know what I'm planning? We could sell Larson, get a set the back instead, and the next upgrade, make it a great striker. No, no, I sh no, 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 no. How are these people missing, by the way? You know the amount of times people should have scored against me, but they haven't? Then I missed a clear chance. Hey, I stop it! But Cedar would then score a banger. I don't know if that's the hell of moments, but they're sorry. Just score that, please. Eat that! Eat that! Time to make a huge jump. I'm selling Larson. He has just gone up to 750, actually. As a replacement, I'm gonna get Hierro. He's actually 740, which is basically the same price. Lol. Nice. Now I just need to get a striker more expensive than Nedbet. I will get Wayne Rooney. This is a huge step up, and I'm very scared. If I lose him, I'll be... I don't want to lose a 2 million coin card. If I discard this, I may as well not even show my face ever again. Oh my god, look at them boots, bruh. He might have the best boots in the game. Oh, I should have. That single bad pass could cost us Rooney because this counter-attack was huge. Oh no, oh no, oh no! My internet is acting up. No, no! I couldn't even speak because of how scared I was. Look at my face. I saw my life flash before my eyes. And then this beautiful counter-attack ended up in a goal for our next upgrade. Oh, wait, what? Shoot! Oh my god! Can't lie, I completely forgot I need another center back. There is not a single center back right now worth more than 2 million, so we're gonna have to go backwards in that. But it's gonna be a teammate of Rooney, so that should be fine then. 
is Rio Ferdinand. 1.4 million coins and big boy Rio is in. Wait, what the fuck? After we keep Rio, we have the three most expensive positions left. And I still have 23 million coins. So you know they're gonna be insane. This was the fastest goal we've ever scored. Jesus Christ! Imagine I miss that, bro. I was gonna flipping cry, bro. Second big boy upgrade. We need a proper CDM. It's about time we bring one. Goodbye, Wehara. I could do Lothar Mateus. That goes for 3.8 million coins. This car looks quite literally broken. Or, I genuinely don't know who of both is better. And I don't care about coins. If you put them side by side, I think it's clear that Mateus should be the better card. So we're gonna get Mateus. I don't know, honestly. You guys can tell me who you prefer. It's a matter of preference, I guess. 3840. This is literally the most expensive card we've bought. And he is half the price of the next one we're gonna get. I went into this game being super nervous. And his keeper started to put an insane performance. So I was getting scared. You know what? No, Nedbet steals the show. Uh, even the most simple runs were wrecking my nerves. Oh, oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Come on, Cedar, run. Then after I overthrew a simple finish, my opponent made uh, a huge mistake and gave me the ball for a finish. Uh, Look at Rooney, ice cold finish. Oh, I want a finish by Wayne. The Dwayne Johnson. Two positions left. There are a few cards that are very expensive. We could definitely afford Ronaldo. The one issue with Ronaldo is that nobody sells him. Doesn't matter how hard you try, you'll never get him. So, more expensive than Mateus, we have Zidane. 8 million coins. 90 passing and dribbling. We also have Eusebio. We could arguably get Eusebio and the other card I, I want to buy. 7 million 950. And Eusebio is arguably the most expensive player I've ever bought. Just take a second to appreciate this team before I have to defend an 8 million coin card. I better score straight away. This is arguably the most important game of my life. You know what? I'm gonna try and score with Eusebio straight away. When I tell you that this card is insane, we nearly score our first goal with him in the first chance we had if he wasn't by his keeper. No! But then after an insane run, we got a pen. No! Eusebio! No! A pen! Ben ref! Oh my god, I got so scared! Eusebio is so good. I don't even have to look, lad. I don't know why I closed my eyes. I could have missed it. E oh my god. You know what? Just for the jokes, I scored another one. From Bruni to Eusebio. And what a goal by Eusebio. <laughs> Told you. We can do Puskas. Man, is 8 million coins is more expensive than Eusebio. But there is a player even more expensive. It could have been our 9, but I'm sure you can't get him. It's Pele. The highest rated card in the entire game. If you look at them side by side, it's hard to tell which is better. 99 vision and 99 short pass. Puskas has 99 finishing and 99 position. We're getting Pele, baby. That's gonna be the most important game of my life. Once again. If I discard Pele, I'm literally getting rid of $10,000. 9.7 million coins. That. And we're gonna get him fresh. Oh, no, that's not fresh. Come on, baby. Just, let's just do it. Let's do it! For the last game, instead of a goal score, we're gonna do whoever wins the game. So we use Pele for a bit longer. This is the most important game of my career, so I'm gonna be concentrated. Uh, 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 chill. Oh my god. Nah, 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 bro. This, this man is built different, bro. He's, he could score that. Oh, hey, hey, what happened? Jesus, I got scared. Please. No way he scores from there. Oh, bro. I've never been this nervous in my life, lad. Luckily, enough for my nerves, the first goal wasn't far off. Aye! But then, on the counter-attack, he will have a chance that could have changed the game forever and make me discard Pele. I was so concentrated, I couldn't even speak. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh yes, oh my god, bro. These two are different gravy, lad. I have one word for him. Different gravy. Oh, wait, oi. Nah, no chance. It's okay. It's okay. So it's not okay. But soon, this game started to become Pele bangers galore. You guys reckon he scores from there? Different gravy. Oh, no, 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 no. Bruno Fernandes. No chance, lad. Yes, finally, a free kick with Pele. Bro, you mind I can score a free kick on the side of the keeper? Oh, he actually went on that side. Oh, no, he moved the keeper to that side. We got this. Watch this for a goal, lads. Oh, it was a goal! Let's go! <laughs> But that wasn't it. We scored another free kick with Pele. Bro, look at what he's doing to his keeper, bro. I genuinely don't know what he was trying to accomplish here, but it ended up being an absolute banger of a goal. Boom! Oh! A goal again! He rage quit it quickly after, and we won the game. Love this. You're gonna enjoy whatever YouTube's recommending here.